prayer by the hand of God. That's what we're going to start talking about today on Strength for Today. Today is Friday, February the 8th. Can you believe February is just moving away from us quickly? And uh, no birthdays today, but tomorrow is Jacob Tickle's birthday. Jacob, may God richly bless you, my friend, and may you have a wonderful birthday. Jacob's a faithful young man, loves the Lord, faithful to church, and may God's richest blessings be upon him. Romans 8, 34, prayer by the hand of God is what we're going to start talking about today and carry over into next week. Psalms 40, verse 13 says, Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me to evil. Let me, or rather, let them be destined for a reward of their shame, saying to me, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. I love this verse, verse 17. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord <laughs> thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tearing, O my God. What I get out of these verses clearly is it's not wrong to ask God to hurry up sometimes. Matter of fact, he might like to hear it. He, you need him to help you quickly. You've got to be specific in what you ask. And since salvation is between the child of God and the Heavenly Father himself, this is a relationship, and it makes sense for God to be concerned about his children. He would think about them and have them on his mind. So God's thinking about you, but he can't do for you till you're asked. He's bound by your asking. He can only do what you pray for him to do. So as a relationship between you and God, you got to talk to each other. You talk to him through prayer, and he talks to you through the word of God. And oh, what a fellowship it is to read the Bible and pray. Read the Bible and pray. When we're in trouble and in the battle of life, and there's many of you watching me today who are in the battle of life, the Lord does care. God the Father who sits on the throne, God the Son who's awaiting the day to come and reclaim his own, set up his kingdom. God, the Holy Spirit, who lives in us and walks with us daily, they're on our side. God's on our side. We got to be on his side. We not only have to pray, but we got to listen. Talk to God, but listen to God too. Open his word. Listen to him speak to you. Oh, God the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world, but he also sent the Holy Spirit to lead God and direct us. So today, pray, but also today, read the scripture, and it'll be your strength for today and your hope for today.